to episode two of Super Metroid A Link to the Past. Excuse the outside sound, that was just me adjusting my footrest. Now, um, I did do a save state, but uh, I forgot how to restore a save state, so give me a second here. There we go. That's the proper title screen. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you're gonna be hearing a lot of outside sound right now because I forgot to adjust my microphone. Too far to the left of me here. Medicine poop. Okay, hang on a second. I should pause this. Unfortunately, I don't know how to pause the recording, so just kind of bear with me on this. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see, where am I gonna start off at? By the way, I read somewhere, maybe in a comment section somewhere, that the Japanese characters you see here, they read as Samusu. Basically Samus' Japanese name. So they say that this is Samus's house, not Link's house. But I'm gonna go ahead and say it's Link's house anyway. Okay, here we go. So I still got, um, <laughs> wrong button. Okay, so let's see. I've been able to bomb most locations. So I think it's time to go visit Samus. What do you think? Good idea, bad idea. It's a good idea. Let's go. Green soldier, die. Give me that. And he didn't even leave a heart. How sad. So sad. Whatever. Okay. I'm not playing as Samus. So these are things that I have gotten thus far. We got the Ice Beam, Spring Ball, and Screw Attack. Also got 25 missiles, 25 super missiles, and 5 power bombs. The problem is that I can't use the power bombs. But hey, with the screw attack, I can actually get to Brinstar from the top there because the screw attack goes right through the walls. Quite literally, it does. So let's do that. If I can remember the controls now. You might see me run a bit slow at times just because I'm trying to remember the controls, so uh, just bear with me on it. Oh, missiles. This pink door leads to the statue room with the um, four statues. I'm not going there. Very simple room. Just avoid the enemies. Whee! Ow! Jerk. As I was saying, I just avoid the enemies. Let's see if I can do this again. Okay, here we go. Yes! Did it. Like I said, it's nothing game breaking, it's just something I like to do for fun. I said in the last episode. Do we notice that there's no sound coming down the elevator? Ah, right, whatever. I'm also not good at um, mock balling and whatnot. I've never been good at mock balling. I will open this door though. Whee! And this one. Whee! 
Now, even though I can't mock ball, what I can do is that I can at, you know, I was gonna say I can at least get the item that's in that room, but we need a power bomb. So how's everyone enjoying the Memorial Weekend? Bing, bang, hey! Jerk. Anyway, how's everyone enjoying their uh, Memorial Weekend? I'm having fun. Sort of. I got a glow stick crown. I wish I could show it to you, but I don't know how to um, how to do face cam. So just kind of imagine me wearing a, a Memorial Day glow stick crown on my head. I can describe it for you. It has... Yeah, I'm taking a little time. Sorry. I'm trying to count it. I'm trying to count it looking straight up at it. Hang on. Let's see. One... There's a touch egg. Touching will be the other one. Three. One. Two. Three. I, I count the five stars. I throw out the package. The package says how many is there. What we got over here? Oh, in a way, I know where this room leads. Oh no, don't, don't attack me! Frozen bug. Help, oh, we got another one. Easy now. Get him into the camera and shoot. Yay, jump. Oh, wait. Yay. Let's see if I can do this. I don't have the high jump, so um, bear with me on this. That down the other side, let me see. I can do this, I can do this. Without triggering the floor down there. I just want to get the bombs out of there. Come on. Ha, I did it. Um, nah, I don't want to do this. I got stuck last time. Genius bug, huh? Hmm. Well, I can still get the item that's here. Money! I could, I could do with 300 rupees. Yeah, I don't fit there. Too fat. Run! Jump. Okay, that was a very poor jump. Ooh, me and my poor jumps. Ow. Boo, me getting hit by the easiest enemy in the game, the side hopper. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Dang it. What a load of patootie. You know what? Farm. I live on a farm, so that's why I'm farming. Badoomch. Sorry about that. I know you guys do not like bad jokes. Yeah, that, 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 that's what we all do in the video gaming world. We shoot ice beams at locked pink doors. Locked pink doors. Uh oh. I know I could have just um, screw attacked it, but my screw attack failed. Okay, open that. Run all the way back. Open that. And there you go. Whee! By the way, these things that you see here, that's not chandelier decorations. There's a possibility that those things could be eggs. They look like chandelier decorations, but no, they're not. It could be alien eggs. I mean, we are gonna fight something that could possibly have laid those. So, up, up, and away! Now, a lot of people don't know this, 
But you can actually hide. Oh, well, I don't have the spider. I don't have the morph ball. But yeah, if you have the morph ball, you can hide in this corner here. I'm gonna take a lot of hits since I don't have the morph ball. Forgot where I get where I can get it. Ow. So I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. I might have to kill these things for um for health. Please, Mr. Plant Monster, stop hitting me. Oh, this is good. This is a good spot. Just gotta keep these things from hitting me now. Got him. I got him at the cost of my own health. But yeah, as I was saying, um, you can hide in the corners there. In corners like this, you can when you morph ball, your your um your sprite gets really small, and you can morph ball into this corner here, and he can't touch you. You can do the same thing in this corner too, but as you can see from me early, from me ducking down here, I'm right about the same height as this platform. So yeah, he can't hit you when you're ducking down next to it either. A lot of people don't know that, and they often die fighting this guy for spawn. But yeah, you can actually do that. Now there's only one problem. I won't be able to get out of here once I go down that door. I don't have the morph ball. So if I go through that door, I'm pretty much trapped until I, until I either soft reset, which will co probably cost me the item down there, or just get back out of here. Yeah, I'm not going through that door. I fought this guy. I don't have to worry about fighting him anymore. That was a mess up. Stupid shoulder button. So instead of going back down through here, we'll go back on the other way. Oh, hello. Can I go to get the morph ball? Hmm. Come on. Come on, you stinking side hopper. I'm gonna show you what item is beyond this door here, but I won't be able to get it anyway, so. Yeah, bombs. And to say goodbye to this awesome song.
consuming soda from a family guy mug. I don't trust you, you hit me before. Heh, <laughs> the timing on that burp. So yeah, I won't build anything there. This is jump girl. Jump. I said jump. I said jump. Uh, game. There we go. You see a beat? You know what? Like I said, it could be a family friendly image. Sometimes I say you see that mess up. That was annoying. Where else can I go? Thank you. I see you creeping around up there. Anyway, why is it whenever I start thinking about something, some random bug-like creature has to creep up on me? Creepy. I see you creeping around up there too. Anyway. Where else can I go? I take off my star crown every now and then because it leaves a mark on my forehead due to the thing that holds the glow sticks in place. I actually don't remember where to go next. I can go back to Hyrule. You know? Yeah, let's go back to Hyrule. There's maybe other places I missed. Oh, my jaw. Ow. Ow. I don't know why that happens. And my mom wants me to see a dentist about it. Ugh. Ow. Yeah, I think I'm good now. Just a minor little pain, but ugh, it's so annoying when it happens. Back to Hyrule. If I had the Zora's flippers, I could just warp to the, um, the, um, Zora's domain thingy up there in the upper right corner, but I don't have the Zora flippers, do I? I don't have anything. And what am I doing? I'll tell- the grove, the grove, right? I forgot about the grove. Back to my house. I like the sound of enemies dying. That we reach kind of that sound is so awesome. Except when they want to sword play with you. Ooh. Oh, I was hoping for money. Not money. Oh. Parts. Ooh, bomb. I get very happy when I see those, don't I? Another bomb. Yay! Well, if you ever need a bomb reload, you can always come to this arrow-shaped path and chop down a few bushes. Okay, let's see what we're gonna dig up here. Bye, animals! Okay. That's what I'm missing. Now I can go back to Samus. See, I knew it was there. I just forgot. 
Did I ever say that I have short-term memory loss? Because I do. I have short-term memory loss. I'm only 33 and I've had this since I was like in my early 20s. Not a good sign when your memory is crapping out on you and you're only like 20 years old. And it gets worse with age. It might be hereditary though. I think my grandmother had it. See, um... I won't di divulge too much here. I'm just gonna say... Very briefly that she... That she has symptoms of, um... Of dementia. I can do more proper exploring, even though um, I still don't have po the, um, the morph ball bombs. I can just make do with power bombs. I just gotta use them sparingly. Yay. Because look, as you can see, um, what? Say what? As you can see, I'm pressing all the buttons here and no bombs. I gotta bounce around. But yeah, no bombs, so. Ooh, the magic mirror. I'll take that. In game, it's just called Mirror. Mirror, mirror in the Chozo hand. Who's the fairest in the land? Let's go do other things, too. When you're a merciless bounty hunter, even the grossest thing like bugs all over your visor don't fade you. Phase you. I almost screwed that up. I stuck on the word phase. There we go. Get those guys out of the way and here I go. It's like flushing a toilet. My favorite thing to do here. Oh, I missed. Come on. There we go. Now this ROM is actually based on the... This ROM is based on the Japanese, no, not Japanese, European version of the game. And you'll see why as soon as I go through this door. Now normally that door closes a few seconds after you walk through it, once you go to get the item that's here, in this case a heart container. But this door never closes. And that's because in the European version of the game, they, the people who originally made Super Metroid, Forgot to program in a boss fight, so this is just a regular Chozo statue. Not the kind of boss you would fight like the Chorizo. The chorizo. I was gonna call it Chorizo. You know, when I was a little girl, speaking of which, I used to call it a Chorizo. Because I didn't know it was called a Torizo. Yeah. Completely different spelling. I was not a very bright kid. I used to call it a Chorizo. I know what a chorizo is, by the way. I was just a dumb kid at the time. Ow! I guess that means I'm a dumb adult from getting hurt by a freaking ripper. Bye! Like I said, I gotta use those sparingly because I can't, I can and will get stuck using that so much. So let's go. The gold chorizo. My glasses got smudgy. I hate smudgy glasses. My niece too hates it. When I brought the subject up to her, she was like, Oh, I understand what you mean. She's only 11 years old. She, ta she talks like she's 15. Just like give it to this guy here. And down here we have pencil. Awesome. Awesome sauce. You, you, you. Okay, I started. I was gonna say you can never go wrong with having missile. Get, get, get out of the pit, Samus. Now there's another little secret I'm gonna take these guys to. Reese's feet. Not much of a secret, just more of a, um, of a thing. Yeah, do I think 
opening the door at the same time you go down in the elevator actually cancels out the elevator sound for two rooms. I guess it's like reversing the load or something. Here we have more missiles. Well, you know, Link was getting a lot of stuff for Samus, so it's only really fair that um, and she wanted to pick up like maybe for several. Ow! This stuff, jerk. Now, I someone said that you can actually use the flying bad guy over here. As a platform to get to an item that's just out of reach. You served me well. I got ether. Another thing you could do. You could stand here and not get hurt. This is actually a callback to Metroid 2 in which you can destroy some platforms and then if you stand in the spot where they reform they actually do damage to you though In this game, they don't harm you This is actually in the vanilla game too This is fun. You get right back up by jumping Or mothballing Pick your poison I would power bomb my way to into Brinstar from here there's only one problem. There are super sized um, hoppers on the other side of the wall there. And there is an item I want to get there, but I don't want to get killed by them. And I only have two power bombs, so, uh, yeah. I think I can just get the item here and leave. Alright. Do you know what that is? Ooh, Sam is doing the Sam is dance. Ooh, ooh, Sam is dance. Ooh. Okay. This is the Varia suit. Now, at first, you don't see nothing happen, right? I'm just normal yellow, still salmon. Oh, but wait, what's that? I pressed Y by accident and I suddenly turned orange. I now have the Varia suit. Yay, salmon's dance. Woo! Salmon's dance, salmon's dance, salmon, salmon, salmon's dance. Woo! Now, like I said, there are some super sized hoppers over there, as you can see. I don't have enough energy to fight those things. I only have one power bomb left, 16 miss, uh, super missiles. I don't have the energy to fight these guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let you see them hopping around back there trying to get to me. That's enough of that. I have to take a moment to scratch my eyebrow anyway, that's why I'll let you see him. But yeah, I got that. Now I didn't have to do that, I could have just, you know, crawled through here. But I'm gonna head back to my ship and restock. I really wish I knew how to pause the recording. I just don't really know how to do that with OBS. I mean, you can pause OBS to um, have a form of like, you know, cutting out certain scenes or whatever, but I don't know how to do that. Just gotta stop recording soon. I do like 30 minute recording, so at least at uh, most of uh, um, 30 minutes. Did you freaking die? Here we go. Uh, not you, the viewer, though. That, that guy, was, that space pirate, was trying to kill. Just so you know, saying "freaking" is not a bad word, because everybody and their Dexter say it. Bugs Bunny says it. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tiny Toons that say it. You dare shoot me. Nope, nope. You almost shot me. That would that would cost quite a boo boo. If you don't know where I got that, that little um chip from, that's um that's from DuckTales Treasure of the Lost Lamp. 
I have it now on DVD. It first came out on VHS a long time ago. You youngins probably don't know what a VHS is. I'll briefly describe it to you as I save my game here. A VHS, or the letters as such, VHS, stand for Video Headset. Now you naughty-minded people will probably gain a giggle or two out of the name of that, but believe me, it's not what you think it is. Video headset is basically a cartridge that you put into what's known as a VCR. The letters of VCR stand for Video Cassette Recorder. Now, if it was called a recorder, it didn't actually record things. It's only on blank VHS tapes, but not on ones like Bambi or Lion King or Aladdin. And not the modern Aladdin. I'm talking about the cartoon one with Robin Williams as the voice of Genie. His soul rest easy. He was a funny man. I remember him so fondly that during the, his birthdays, whatever, I'll probably find myself watching his movies. Mrs. Doubtfire, Aladdin, whatever. But yeah, VHS. You're about roughly the... Oops, sorry about that loud noise. That was my remote falling. Anyways, right, about the same size as a 3DS or 3DS XL maybe a little bit thicker or just a pinch longer and they have reel to reel inside of them that's called tape videotape and you put them in your VCR and it and you get videos on your TVs yes I'm that old 33 is considered old. Although I have, although my oldest brother is actually a lot older than me. You're also going to hear a lot of creaking noises and stuff. That's my chair. No more soda. Excuse me. Um, you know. I didn't really do much this episode besides explore around, so I'm sorry I didn't get anything really well done. But yeah, I'm gonna have to call it here. This episode's gone on for about 33 minutes, which is kind of funny that they say my age is 33. So, short episode on the side, nothing but exploration, and I'll see you guys in episode 3 when we actually go through Brinstar with more of our stuff. So, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in episode 3. When we explore Brinstar, this is Crystal Castle signing off. Have a great and glorious night, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.